2008 Lexus RX 350 and today we're going to be replacing the power steering pump. Let's get to it. The first thing you'll notice is that we have the wheel removed. I have the wheel removed because I also just replaced the CV axle on this side. But I figured why put it on when I'm going to be doing the power steering pump. Your power steering pump on this vehicle is located right there. This pulley behind it is the pump. Alright, let's get to it. First step, we're going to go ahead and remove this cover. It is held on with two 10 millimeter bolts for what I can see right now. It looks like that's it. Yeah, pretty sure it's just two 10 millimeter bolts so that we can access the tensioner and remove the drive belt from the power steering pump. See if we look right up in here this pulley right here is our tensioner we need to go ahead and get a tool on this and it feels like a 14 let me double check that though and to put some slack into the tensioner we're going to be using our drive belt tensioner tool and a stubby 14 millimeter socket I'm just gonna reach over here and pull this off of that smooth pulley and that'll give us plenty of slack to get it off of our power steering pump. Don't need to take the drive belt off of everything. I just need access to the power steering pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this right there and hope that that takes care of it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove power steering lines As you can see we have one right here 10 millimeters with that look no that might be a 12 millimeter and we got this big one right here this is for the high side of the pump be careful when you're putting this into the new power steering pump you don't want to mess up these threads but other than that I can't tell that might be a 17 up there I'm not even too sure I might just put a adjustable wrench on that and break it loose anyway let's go ahead get ourselves a drain pan got our drain pan ready our catch can or whatever you want to call it so when we bust these lines off the power steering fluid will go into the can mm. it is a 12 just really tight there it goes Tuck that hose out of the way so we can get to our high side line, which is located right up here. Right there. Nope, oh, it is in fact a 17. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, let's just try to double wrench this real quick. There we go. bolt out now what you need to make sure of is on top of this there is usually a type of 
crush washer or copper gasket. Make sure that that stays on there. Here's this piece so I can sew. Get off my hand. So this is the piece I'm talking about. This is a double crush washer. It just slides into that clip and then you tighten it down so that it's sealed top and bottom for when your power steering fluid flows through the innards of this bolt. Now, the fun part, actually getting this thing out of here. Make sure you <clears throat> go ahead and rotate your power steering pump and you'll see, I'm sorry, go ahead and rotate your power steering pump pulley and you'll be able to see right in here, there's a bolt and there's a bolt right there. They look to be about 14 millimeters, but I'll double check that and let you know. They are 14 millimeters. This top one is going to be at a rough angle, which is a shame because this is about to be very easy. I'm going to go ahead and add a universal joint to my 14 millimeter deep socket. See if that doesn't alleviate my problem. There is a signal wire up top. Right up top right here. Go ahead and get this boot off. Let's see what we're working with. little pull tab one. See it right here now. Just squeeze the tab and lift that sensor off. I don't believe there's anything else yet. It is free, it's just stuck in place. Oh, come on now. You magically just wanted to pop back into that hole? Come on. Alright. There's our power steering pump. Not a bad job. Definitely a messy one, though. Make sure you got a catch can. That's going to help you out a lot. Go ahead and uh, check your gaskets. Make sure that they're in good condition. When I say gaskets, I mean your O-rings. Your O-rings, like on this hose right here. You can see it's got a little rubber O-ring. Make sure that that's in good health. Probably best just to go ahead and replace them. Your uh, if you got a good power steering pump, it'll probably come with some replacement ones anyway. But other than that, go ahead and put everything back in reverse order that we took it out at, and you'll be golden. If this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will catch you all next time.